Let's start solving part B of this question. So we have to compare the privately optimal outcome and the socially uh, efficient outcome in terms of output, profits and damage. Meaning we want to know how much we produce, how much money we make and what is going to be the damage under two cases. Well, let's start doing it. Private, <clears throat> private optimal and social optimal. So we're going to solve it over here so that we can see all the data. When we're solving for the private optimal, so we have the private optimal solution. What is that going to be? Well, we know that under the private optimal, we'll just make the price, the marginal private benefit, right? The marginal benefit for the firm is going to equal to the marginal cost of production, the most basic rule. So what's going to be the marginal benefit? That's just 10. And what's going to be our marginal cost? Well, we calculated, we calculated the previous video and that was equal to two times the quantity. So 10 is equal to 2Q. 10 equals to 2q, meaning that the optimal quantity under private production, so quantity optimal under private production is equal to 5 units. Now with this in mind, what's going to be the profit? Well, let's see. The profit under private production, profit under private production equals to the difference between total revenue under private production minus the total cost under private production. Well, let's see what's that going to be. So the profit that we're going to find is equal to the total revenue. That's 5 units that we sell for $10 each. So that's 5 times 10 minus what is the total cost? Well, we have the total cost function. That's 10 plus Q squared. So minus 10 plus the quantity of 5 to the power of 2. 10 plus 5 to the power of 2. Now, what's that going to be? Well, the profit, the profit will equal to 50 minus 10 plus 5 squared. That's 10 plus 25, which is 35. So we're left with a profit of $15. That's going to be our profit. Now, one more thing. What's going to be the damage? Well, let's see. The damage is also a function of the quantity. We calculated in the previous video. Damage is equal to 1 over 4 Q squared. So the damage under the private production is equal to 1 over 4 multiplied with the quantity of 5 to the power of 2. So that's 25 divided by 4, which is equal to 6.25. So that's a damage worth of $6.25. Now, with this said, we'll do the same, the same method for the social optimal. So we'll do it right next to it over here the social optimal. And what's the idea under the social optimal? So social optimal. Well, for the social optimal, we also have to keep in mind the external cost, meaning we have to add the marginal damage as well. So we'll have the following expre expression. We will have marginal benefit equals to the marginal cost plus the marginal damage. Now, what was the marginal damage? We also calculated before. Well, that's one over two multiplied with the quantity. So let's do that. We'll keep all the data the same. The marginal benefit is still $10 because we sell it for 10. So 10 equals to the marginal cost, which is two times the quantity. So that's 2Q. And the marginal damage is one over two times the quantity, meaning that 10 equals to 2.5 times the quantity, 2.5 times the quantity, giving us an optimal amount. So the optimal amount for the society is going to be equal to four units. So we calculated the quantity. now. What else do we need? We need the profit. So we need the profit under the social optimal, the profit under the social optimal. That's the difference between the total revenues under the social optimal minus the total cost under the social optimal. What is going to be the total revenue? Let's see. So the profit, the profit over here equals to we're selling four units for ten dollars each. So four times ten is going to be our total revenue minus what is the total cost? Well, we saw the total cost function is equal to is equal to 10 plus Q squared from here. So that's 10 plus Q squared, meaning we will have 10 plus four squared. So over here we have 10 plus four squared. What's that going to be equal to? Well, let's see the profit, the profit over here is equal to the difference between 40 minus 10 plus 16 is 26, 40 minus 26, that's equal to 14. So the profit will be equal to 14. Now, what is the damage? What is the damage when we solve for the social optimal? Well, we know the damage function is equal to one over four times quantity to the power of two. So that's that's going to be one over four, one over four times the quantity of four units to the power of two. Well, that's 16 divided by four and that's equal to four. So the damage will be equal to four. And that's it for this part. Next video, we solve part C.